live from Broom Tower. It's How Not to Souls with Jaron, and today we are looking at a Pyromancer from Dark Souls 2. Which Pyromancers rock anywhere from Dark Souls 1, 2, or 3, and into Elden Ring. Pretty rocky builds. We're both a little different in Elden Ring, but we're not going to be talking about that today. We're talking about the intelligence, faith, scaling in Dark Souls 2, and how it works with fire. Well, not how it works, but, you know, for the build. And why... Pyromancies can be very strong. And if I do believe it, so let's take a look at our stats. And then we can move on. 40 figure for a decent amount of health. 30 in general, so we have enough stamina to roll around, do the dodgings. Uh, 5 vitality, which is base. I thought we didn't really need anything heavy armor wise, or we weren't really carrying heavy weapons. But I mean, it doesn't hurt to put some in there, but I left it at base. 40 tombs, so we can. Hold and cast multiple multiple versions of a spell and hold different ver and held different spells all together. And also gives us a bit of a cast and speed boost. Um, 10 strength to meet weapon requirements, 19 dex also to meet weapon requirements. Side note, if you put points in the dex, it also will increase your casting speed, so keep that in mind. 14 adaptability, so we can get the good eye frames and the 100 agility. 46 faith and intelligence because pyromancies get stronger on scaling those both up. Similar to dark magic, but dark magic works a little different. It bases itself off your lower stat if you tend to not have those equal. So, that's what's different about that. But, anyway, let's take a look at our layouts. So, we only really had two weapons. The Fire Chaos Rapier and the Dark Silver Black Spear. And the reason why I have, I have a Dark with Fire is because, like I said before, Dark Magic scales also with Faith and Intelligence. So they kind of go, they can easily go hand in hand on the same build. I just did a focus of Pyromancies and I had some Hexes. So it worked out really well. And the Hexes are Dark Magic, if those don't know. Or the Dark Elemental Damage, you don't know. Um... But that's why I have the Silver Black Spear. It naturally has dark damage. And putting dark on it gives it more dark damage. Thus having our even faith intelligence stats will increase that dark damage on the spear. And same with the fire aspect. Faith and intelligence will increase our fire damage on the Chaos Rapier that already has natural fire damage. Our Pyromancy Flame already has fire damage. Yes, it again. Explaining the faith and intelligence scaling. I don't think I need to go any further. And the Dark Sunset, Sunset staff to cast our hexes, and we did sorcery-based hexes. There's also miracle-based ones, but I think to make it simple and make it flow really well with the pyromancies, having like Dark Orb and Dark Bead on the build just made it flow better. And that's why that's like that. And yet, you can also infuse this with a Dark... A dark is it a Dark Stone? A dark night stone, or whatever it is, you can infuse your sun stats up by dark to, in theory, give it more dark damage on your casts. Um, for our armor slash fashion, if you want to view it like that, uh, the hexer sword because it gives us um a plus one on intelligence and faith. It also gives us extra casts of our spells, which is huge because pyromancies you don't you don't tend to get a lot of pyromancies per like you when you obtain the spell you can obtain multiple versions of that spell, and they stack up, but you don't get many uses out of it. So having the extra spell cast with the Hexer's Hood, and the amount of attunement we had was a big plus. Uh, the Chaos Rope set, too, on the bottom. I don't like the Chaos here. I think that's ugly as all heck. So, as well, so I keep the Hexer's Hood on. The, hex work, the Hexer's Hood is kind of a sore thumb in this, but there's practicality in it. For the extra spellcast and intelligence. But yeah, the Chaos Rope, pretty much rocking. They have a good natural, I think there's a fire or dark defense on them too. So it kind of matches up. I think it's a little, I think they rock, but at the same time, I can see where someone would think they're kind of ugly. A little mishmash, just like the uh, the hood of it. But I like it. I like this. Um, for our ring selection, Life Ring plus two. With anything called plus one. So the band ritual, well, health, more health, better stamina regen. 
Southern Ritual Band plus one gives us one or two extra spell slots. I can't remember. Maybe two, just because it's plus one. And the King's Ring, that gives us a little bit of a fire boost. And I didn't really want to put on the Fire Clutch Ring because the damage, since we're kind of squishy anyway, I don't think the extra damage you get balances out with the extra fire damage you get. So that's the way I did it this way. Um, for our Zubas, obviously Nestus. Um, I had Divine Blessing on for Burn Ivory King. Um, but yeah, Crimson Waters, your herbs to regenerate spells, knives, cookeries, bombs, urns. You get the idea. And our Aged Feather, before that we had Homeward Bones, so we can get back to where we where we came from. And that's pretty much that. And, um, yeah, whatever your bow. I didn't really use a bow in this build. Is it for one area? Whatever, yeah. Use where you want for your bow. Maybe something fire. Or something like Intelligence Infused, Faith Infused. It'll probably give you a little extra damage on that. Um, four. Uh, so I basically, our, our, for our spells will work. Okay, sorry. I pressed some. So the, the pyromancies that we used were kind of progressive. So if we had a fight, we would always open up with Great Combustion. I love Great Combustion. Even Combustion itself is pretty good. But once we got Great Combustion, we kind of took off Combustion. It does more damage. And yeah, it costs a lot of stamina to cast, but if you can knock two or three off, you're pretty much golden. Fire Orb for a basic projectile. Great Fireball. Ooh, for an above average projectile. This I like Fireball. And you can get extra Fireballs by farming the Fire Salamanders. I didn't want to do that. But you can. That's a little thing you think about. Um, I'm a big guy on Fire Whip. As long as you can get it off before like they start attacking you, before they break your casting, you can get some decent damage. Flame Swath is... The unsung hero of this build. I didn't know it could do as much damage as it did. And I spe like I tried it on that boss, and it was just like, oh, hell yeah, yeah. You're staying on for every single boss fight, except for the bosses in water. I think the Looking Glass like fire is pretty much useless because it's in the rain. But yeah, keep that in mind too. Like when it's raining or in your water, your pyromancies do very bad damage. They don't do. Yeah, it's just they're, they're not worth your time. It kind of stinks. That's why we had the alternative damage. The dark. Um, flame weapon. I almost said carve this flame arc. It's the same thing, but it's flame weapon in this. I like flame weapon. I will try to use it in any opportunity I could get. It works the best on a pyro build or a dark build just because of the dual scaling of faith and intelligence. And to round out everything, we have chaos storm. But I would say any one of these would fit the place. This is just bonkers to watch. I think Chaos Storm's great. Um, other notable pyromancies, like I said, I mean, Fireball, blah, 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 Combustion, blah, blah, blah. Those are the ones that you get. Um, I do like quite a bit Lingering Flame. It took up two slots, and it wasn't really practical for this build. I've used it before. It's really good. They kind of just shoot out a ball, and it kind of works like a proximity mine if someone gets near it. It explodes. Forbidden Sun is a boss killer or a boss damager. I love using it. It's great. Um, a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Uh, Iron Flesh I didn't use, but it's good for like if you're doing, you're trying to fight someone and try to do, like I put better in Dark Souls 3 because you get Sacred Flame and you can, so there's kind of, they can't break your poise and walk up to them. But that's a notable one if you want to use Iron Flesh. Gives you um heightened poise and some sort of something else. Uh, Fire Snake, similar to... Actually, no, it's not similar to Flame Whip at all. Kind of just... Oh! Yeah, it goes on the ground. There's a trail of fire. It's pretty good. I also like Dance of Fire. And Outcry was hilarious. It's the same thing as Chaos Storm, but with, like, a dark flame. Pretty good. And, um... Oh, yeah, in our Dark Pyro... In our Hexes, this is a, basically Dark Orb. Dark Hail, not Dark Bead. Uh, dark Fog, and Dark Weapon, which I had in place of Chaos Storm for a majority of the game. Because I liked having... So I liked having Dark Weapon. Like, I, like with Flame Weapon, I like having Dark Weapon any chance I can get. But this isn't about the, the Hexes, it's just about the Pyro. It's more about the Pyro. 
Because that's what I did for alternative damage when I couldn't use fire or hexes. Um, overall, this was a very, very, very fun build. I find that Dark Souls 2 can drag at times. But within that dragon, I still had a great time with this. You, know, like you open up with the with your rapier or even your silver black spear. Pretty good. Actually, I'm a I am a big fan of the silver black spear. It's pretty good. But yeah, just, you know, was bang, bang, and I think I, that like this great fireball is my favorite. It doesn't look like much, but it does a lot of damage. Overall, you'll have a good time. If you like doing caster builds, you like trying something a little different, and there's no requirements on using pyromancies in this game. They just scale with faith and intelligence. So you can essentially throw any of these on any build, and you could technically be a pyromancer. But if you want to have a potent pyromancer, faith intelligence to around 40, 45. If you want to go 50, you can go 50. I wanted to be a little tankier this time around, so I went 45. But overall, really good. I hope you enjoy it, guys. Thanks a lot for coming by. And enjoy the footage. See you later.